Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Brian Del G100, but I'm well known as Black Ace, and this is the Reverend. And today we're here to talk about the rights and the wrongs of America, and the politics and everyday values of it, and their bullshit. Mm -hmm. The first thing we're gonna get touched on is a subject that we all go through. When we're about 18 or 19. We all get a draft card from the American government from the registration acknowledgement registration for the United States Army or military branches and we have to return that in but the reason I'm going to speak on it is my, boy, my buddy Black Ice came home one day and found a random book and he's going to describe what it was about you can find it at your local libraries but give him the name and title of the book Brian it's called the 20 years of America and they're talking about the 60s all of it from 60 to 69 and what's cool about it is he described the draft, how it was so easy to get out of the draft back in the 60s and 70s. You know, but nowadays you can't flee to another country. And I think it's kind of wrong how you can go to jail for what, five years, ain't it? Yeah, five years. That's what my home and Ali served. And, this, and we can only escape in the 60s. Nothing else. And I don't think it's right that we. Who, who says it's right to serve for our country if we get drafted because. It doesn't say it in the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, or the Amendments, or any history book that I've been acknowledgeable with. Ain't that right, Black Eyes? Yeah, and sure, back in the 60s, that's when the Vietnam War was going on. But I've been hearing stories, that's when the guys that was in the army were scared to die. Sure, that might that might have been true, but I am not. I wouldn't be taking it if I was around. No, sir. Neither do I. I mean, I ain't going to defend this country. I mean, it's not, it's not unholy not to. I mean, you're basically, when you go there, the army doesn't turn into a man. You come in and out a wimp, right or wrong. Correct, son. I mean, it's just everyday politics that they try to stuff their your throat. Like, when you register to vote, you got all these celebrities saying, rock the vote, all these musician types. Vote, vote back. All this stuff. And once you register to vote, you're basically giving your rights away to the government of basically getting drafted to any military branch and you had to serve jury duty and it's kind of, you know, not worth it in my opinion, but it's good if you want to vote, but I choose not to vote. And also, I could have touchy subjects in the world that's not really about a whole lot of stuff, but that's really touching some people. You know how you get all these religious wars and all this religious stuff going on, it's not about that, but it's about the United States Army or whatever type of military it is. I have nothing against them. Me and my boy Black Eyes both support them, right? Right. We have 50 members in the Army. We and got them. We got them. We got them and y'all be safe and be cool. But the thing about it is you have some relatives that, you know, that have joined the Army and they'll come out fake. They'll be like, well, I'm in the army. I'm defending and defending our freedom. And really, they're on a base, you know, running platoons and everyday drills and stuff, learning the basics maneuvers of what to do. But, you know, when they're coming home four or five times a day, I have a relative, a relative that's in the United States Army. I'm not going to mention his name, but, you know, he tried to tell me he was in the war and he was calling his dad every day. He was calling his family members every day. And I'm thinking, well, you know, you can't get packages to receive phone calls. And also, you know, you can't get none of that. You know, and, and you know, he, he's just a fake soldier. And uh, I know Black Ice has a friend that used to look that right. They had a friend that was like that. Well, no, I knew some folks that was potentially acting fake. Like, you can just look or well, see how they act. You can tell they ain't been nowhere. And they were just stationed there, right? Yeah, or cleaning pots and pans. And then they come back and they want you to bow down to them, which is not right. I mean, there's so many people out there. I mean, where we come from, you know, it's kind of a bullshit place we live in. But, you know, I mean, it's not necessarily right to just say, well, I joined the Army. And then you're not really defending nothing but just sitting on a base and playing around all day. I mean, I support the ones that are out there every day fighting. Yeah. But we're off that subject now. We're about to go into what else, Black Ice? You know what? As far as this stuff goes, you no, know I don't think I have anything else to say about it. Unless that something comes up, then I just jump to it whenever. 
If not, we'll make a part two to this, but we're going to have a safe day out there in YouTubeville. So, it was nice letting you get this information, but hopefully, to under, hopefully you will understand what we're talking about. I mean, but have a safe day, safe month. Summer's been hot. And to all the people out there, y'all know who me and Black Ice are. Support this video. Go to Brian LG 100 subscribe. YouTube. Subscribe, leave a comment, whatever. Be be safe, peace, and stay listening to Bob Marley. And also, by the way, to me, in my opinion, if you were listening to Bob Marley, the world would be a better place, right, Black Ice? Right. And uh, support the real musicians. No more bullshit. Yeah. And don't support MTV. They're sellouts. And BET, everything's selling up now. The real musicians come from the heart. Yeah. So. Hey, like one musician said, music first, lyrics come second. Yep. And we're getting time down now, so see ya. Hey.